एक सत्व
God is good. Yes, he is. And we're grateful. Our congregational uh, hymn is printed in the bulletin. Asserted if it had not been for the Lord. Mm -hmm. you know, it's the Lord that kept us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And, uh, evil was around us. Yes. It's yes. the Lord that had kept us. Oh, yes. Amen. From danger, sin, and unseen things. Mm -hmm. If it had not been for the Lord, mm -hmm. amen. Uh, really, none of us really could imagine where we would be today. Amen. If it had not been for yes, the Lord, Lord. Yes, Lord. keeping us. Yes. And so we ask that you would uh, sing along with us. Amen. The song is printed in our order of service. If it had not been for the Lord, amen. That's on our side. Amen. Let's follow. Follow the words in the book. If it had not been for
leading and directing me. And I was left on my own. Where would I be? Where would I be? Amen. Probably in a world of trouble. If I was left to my own. And if the Lord did not speak to me. Leading and directing me in the way I should respond. In the way I should act. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. So thanks be to God. That will be all my testimony. Yeah. Amen. 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 Lifting up your voices and singing with us. You know, sometimes we're using technology and things to go always go to this thing. So we're not going to be bound to Amen. Amen. It's going to work, we're just going to say it. Amen. 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 So we thank God for his faith. We thank God for the last one of those that have working with uh, yeah. tracks and all and uh, singing units and then coming out uh, practicing so we can thank God for you and we uh, carry you not to be discouraged Amen. Amen. because uh, sometimes these things are not easily mm -hmm. accomplished and it's not practice and so uh, it's continue to Amen. Amen. Sing God's praise. Amen. 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 Well, prayer is always uh, in order. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus said that men are always to pray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not to faint. Yeah. Or not to throw in the towel yeah. or give up. But to always pray. Yeah. Yeah. And then the hymn writer wrote the song that says, Prayer makes me. Yeah, yeah. When I am weak yes, yes. and keeps me marching. Uh -huh. And then uh, a friend that used to say, a uh, little prayer, little strength. Yeah. Much prayer. Much prayer. Much strength. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And Jesus himself prayed. Yeah. We know that he often prayed. Yeah. Yeah. And so the question is, and he was God. And he had called on his father. Father, I know you hear me always. Amen. Praise in the garden. Praise on the hilltop. Amen. And so if Jesus had to pray, certainly we're going to have to pray as we journey through uh, this land. Paul writes in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 and 18. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So as we prepare our hearts and minds for prayer, we certainly want to remember those, those are on our prayer list. Praying this morning for Mother Orville was in family. Yes. We prayed for Mother Four Williams and family. Yes. Sister Jean and Toy family. Somebody will pull the oil. Miss Ruth Walker, praying for her. Sister Denise Pounds and family. Brother Jimmy George, family. Sister Orr Holloway. <coughs> Sister Evelyn. Jones, Brother Lawrence Gary, Sister Hallie Owens, Ms. Claudette Dandridge, Sister Betsy, Hannah, and family, Pastor Cornell Brown C, Ms. Ramona Glasser, Ms. Marvel Coates, Ms. Alicia Bowers, 
Instead, they go for Tom, Tom Baker, Zillow Strickland, Eloise Blade, Ms. Shemaine Bentley, Ms. Valerie Ford, Mr. Ricky Williams, Pastor Eugene Cox, Ms. Joanne Farr, Ms. Linda Berry, Mr. Paul Robinson, Ms. Dale Turner Senior, Ms. Brenda Woods, Mr. Leonard Johnson, Ms. Diane Holmes, Ms. Shirley Butler, Mr. Holly, and Ms. Curry Jackson. Because there are others that names are out not on the list of survey, we pray for them. Many of you have family members, uh, people who work with you that have asked you, and neighbors have asked you to pray for them. And we should never take it lightly when people ask us to pray for them. Amen. We're praying for all of our children in school, yeah, yeah, yeah. those that are amen, in college, yes, uh, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes. keep them, those in the daycares, in kindergarten. We pray for all of our young people that God will bless them. Eternal God, our Father. Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the maker and creator of all mankind, the beginning and the end, the author and the finisher of our faith. Lord, here it is again. We come before your presence with thanksgiving. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We enter your courts with praise. Oh, yes. Lord, we are thankful. Thank you. We come to bless your name. Yes. The Lord, you are good, and your mercy yes. and your will yes. Lord, we say thank you. We pray your blessings upon all the names that are called on our prayers. We pray that you will bless them. We pray that those who are sick, yes. that you will touch and bring healing to their bodies. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. God, we pray for our young people in their school. That you would protect them, oh God, yeah. that no yes, evil would come out their school yes, buildings, yes, oh God, and that you would strengthen their minds, yes. that they might be able to retain the things that is necessary for their studies. Yes, God, we thank you for all things, for the name of God and God all by yourself. Thank you, God. Look at that mercy. Yes. Those are in the hospitals, God, we pray that you are really touch would be up on the Now so you realize that you don't have to leave glory. Yeah, yeah. But you can speak the words yeah, yeah. from your throne and healing will proceed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And God, we say thank you. Thank you. We pray for those who are in the nursing homes, yeah, those, oh God, who are in mental institutions, yeah, yeah. God, and those that are incarcerated, we pray your blessings upon them. We yeah. know that you are God Everywhere. And nothing is impossible with you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are a miracle working. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. God, we pray now that you would lift up every bow down to you. Yes, sir. Give ease to every troubled mind. Yes. And give your people, oh God, a mind to worship, to praise, yes. and to lift you up. We pray that your Holy Spirit will be with us on yes, today, yes, oh God, and that we will meet here, Lord, yes. having benefited from our time with you. Yes. We say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Bless, I pray, each name that was called. Oh, yes. Yes. You know every situation. Yes, some of them are sick, some yes. of them are recovering from surgery, yes. and some of them have other issues. Yes. But you are a God that specializes. Yes. In all things. Yes, so we ask that you would have mercy on them and strengthen them. Yes. It is in the name of Jesus. No name, Jesus. Our Christ we pray. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let us continue to pray. Amen. For one another. Let us continue to pray for all of the sick and shut in. Yeah. 
believe that God is blessing you right now. Even as you said in a Sunday school lesson this morning, she's telling us that about unbroken promises. Whenever God promises, God will bring it to pass. Yes, He will. It might not happen immediately, but it will come to pass. Because God is faithful to His Word. And he's a God that cannot lie. Yes, yes. And, and he's spoken and not uh, done it. Right. Amen. No. God has always been faithful yes, yes. to his word. Amen. 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 Sometimes we as people, our faith sometimes uh, kind of wonders and nothing wrong with uh, that. Right. Amen. As long as we come back to the faith. I said that those who in uh, Sunday school this morning uh, saw where uh, Abraham is. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Uh, his faith kind of like, you know, uh, got off track. Of yeah. Yeah. Amen. And God took into account that Abraham was a human. Yeah. And as human beings, yeah. regardless of how strong we might think we are, yeah. 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 how strong we might be. Sometimes we're going to find ourselves missing the mark. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we're going to find ourselves like Abraham. Missing the mark. God told him what to do. Told him to leave home. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless everybody that bless you. Amen. I'm going to be with you. And he shall be a blessing to everybody, to the whole nation. Amen. Abraham and his journey came to a place headed for Canaan, where they were faint in the land. Amen. That's where his faith. Got God said, I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to bless you. Bless those that bless you. So Abraham, because he was a human, didn't want to go hungry. He went where he knew food were, instead of trusting God to provide for him where he was going. He went to Egypt. Mm -hmm. And we know that said the Bible, God has always called his people out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. right. and Abraham went to Egypt. So sometimes our faith, amen, might uh, you know, wave a little bit. And you know, say again, we don't have it, but we have to take into account every one of us in here is human. Amen. And we are subject to make mistakes. subject to sin Amen. because we are human. Amen. None of us is perfect. Amen. 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 But we serve a perfect God. Amen. There are people that stay out of the church because they say the church is full of hypocrites. Amen. Amen. Well, the church is full of people that uh, are imperfect. Amen. They are imperfect. But the God we serve, I'm glad to see every one of you. But if I had any idea that God would end it, then I wouldn't be in here. I'd see him somewhere else. For our reason for being here is God. First of all, glad to see our sisters and brothers. Amen. But every phrase is to our God. God. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. And so, uh, the first and first, some of those people say, I don't know, church was all a good Christian church. And then they turn right around the bar and go to work. Uh -huh. Amen. Yes. And you believe everybody on their job ain't saved. Yes. Everybody on their job don't have angel minds. Yes. And saying something to everything. Yes, yes. But they don't think that I'm going to quit this job. Yes, yes. Too many hypocrites on our side. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 This church is only a place where folks say I ain't talked about too many hypocrites. Amen. Amen. Where are you going to go when they ain't going to be some hypocrites? Have a good And so we thank God. Yes. Amen. Yes. That 
God is good. God is good. Yes, he is. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. His word. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Amen. Yes, he is. Thank God for his Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Amen. Now we're at the time for our good Amen. We have to come to the pews and Oh, 
Jesus wash oh, yeah. my sins away. And certainly we have come this for by faith. Amen. Leaning on the Lord. Trusting in his holy word. And uh, I 
said that because uh, in our studies, even in Sunday school today, and in our uh, message song today, there were many great men mm -hmm. in the Bible, such as David, who writes Psalm 22, My God, my God, why have not forsaken me? Amen. Elijah, amen. Who says, Lord, look, I've had enough. Take my life. Mm -hmm. Kill me. Because mm -hmm. I've had enough. Yes. Amen. And today we want to talk about a very familiar person we know in the Bible. And that's uh, Job. Oh, amen. amen. Right. And from Job 23. And I'm going to just read those first three verses. We all believe in the story of Job. Mm -hmm. Then Job answered and said, Even today, my complaint, my complaint, even today is my complaint bitter. My stroke is heavier than my groan. Amen. Amen. Oh, verse 3. Mm -hmm. Oh, that I knew where I might find him. Well. That I may come even to his seat. Okay. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Joe said, Oh, if I knew where I could find God, Amen. I would come to his seat. So here in God, when you hurt. The story of Job is one of the most moral stories in the Bible. You all hear folks talk about the patience of Job. Christians feel like they can identify with Job's suffering. But I don't believe any man or woman yeah, 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 yeah. has suffered loss yeah. like Job. Come on, Reverend. You might say you can identify, but none of us have really that's suffered it, that's loss right. like Job. Yeah. Yeah. Job really went from riches mm -hmm. to rags. Yeah. His trouble came upon him in rapid concession. Job, uh, if you go back to chapter 1, was the richest man mm -hmm. in all of us. Amen. Mm -hmm. He feared God. Yeah, yeah. In other words, he was a worshiper. Mm -hmm. He was blameless mm -hmm. and a man of complete integrity. Now the King James Version says Job was perfect and upright, but that don't mean that he was sinless. But that word used perfect that it says, in light of the people around him, his neighbors, friends, amen. He was perfect and upright. In chapter one of Job, it lists Job's wealth. Seven sons and three daughters. Amen. That's something to us that might be a strange way to count one's wealth. Because we usually think of children or, uh, amen, those people that keep us broke. But in the Bible days, uh, when a man had children, that counted as wealth. Seven sons and three daughters. Seven thousand sheep. Three thousand camels. Five hundred team of oxen. Be careful that we're team. Because we know one don't make a team. So team could be two. Might be four. So just say if it's two, we're talking about a thousand oxen. Amen. 500 female donkeys. That's 
another one we have to be careful too because in order for there to be uh, uh, reproduction, yeah. there has to be some male donkey somewhere. Yeah. But it just counts 500 female. Mm -hmm. He had many servants. Amen. Satan contributes Job's faithfulness and his integrity to God. Blessings upon this life. Satan, in his conversation with God, who wouldn't serve you when you bless them like this? Job is blessing you because of how you bless him materially. Have got a witness? It says, and the blessings you have placed upon his life. You have put a hedge around him and his home and his and his home and his property. You fenced him in. And every you made everything that was Satan talking to God. You made everything he But reach out and take away everything he has, and he will surely curse you to your face. Say the same God, God, Job, Job is just worshiping and praising you because of all the stuff you give him. But if you take that stuff away, Job will curse you to your face. By divine permission, let me tell you this. Uh, amen. Satan can do nothing to you. I hope you can believe this. Come on. Without the divine permission of God. Amen. 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 By divine permission, Satan tests Job. By removing all that he holds so deep his family, his wealth, his health, his prestige. But yet, through it all, Job maintained his steadfast worship to God. God gave permission to say them, to test Job. Yeah. But remember this. But God set a boundary yeah. as to how far Job, how far Satan could go Come on, buddy. in his testing. Amen. 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 God told him, uh, so many words, do whatever you want. With everything he possesses. But don't harm him physically. In other words, the Lord said to Satan, don't kill Job. Don't harm him. You can touch everything he possesses. But do him no harm physically. Mm -hmm. So Satan left the Lord's presence. With divine permission to attack Job. Starting with his possessions, Satan moved against Job. You find all this in chapters 1 and 2. He moves against Job. While he was still speaking, You'll find that. Another messenger. Amen. Arrived yeah, yeah, yeah. with more bad news. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. If these things were not bad enough. Uh -huh. Amen. That which he had held so dear. And you read that in chapter 1, 2, 
for all of his cattle, for all of his livestock was taken, and then his servants and all. And it always is, I'm the only one who escaped to tell the thing. Uh -huh. Amen. If these things were not bad enough, that which he held so dear and close to him, his seven sons and three daughters were having a feast apart. And cause of the winds, strong winds, the house collapsed. And all Joe's children were dead. Well, now we got a good piece of right. So brothers, no one can really say that he suffered like Joe. Sometimes we bury one at a time. Mm -hmm. But we never had to bury seven children. A multiple children at one time. On. So chapter one ends with this well-known declaration of Job. After all of this bad news and the loss of his children, Job said, "I came naked from my mother's womb, and I will be naked." When I leave, you ain't going to take nothing out of this world. He said, the Lord gave me what I had, and the Lord has taken it away. Praise the name of the Lord. In all of this, oh, y'all follow me? In all of this, Job did not sin by blaming God. Amen. Amen. Got to be careful how we blame God. Amen. God don't appreciate being blamed for stuff Amen. that He didn't do. Have a good And uh, even the words of Job, when He said, The Lord gave, yes, the Lord did give. But Job said, the Lord take no, the Lord did not take away. It was sin. God gave Satan permission. Amen. And he did not mind all that he would do. Have a good witness. Amen. Chapter 2 begins round 2. In which Job, or which Satan, Ask permission of God that he might take away Job's help. Taking all of his earthly possession, I've taken his children that he loved, only left him with a wife, and yet he holds on to his integrity. So Satan says, God, if you let me touch his flesh. Are y'all following me? And God granted it to him again with this stipulation. Do as you please, but spare his life. Amen. From the crown of his head to the soles of his feet were terrible boils. Amen. His whole body was filled with boils from his head to his feet. Have slow. Job was a terrible sight to see. Amen. I had friends come in and preach for me on my anniversary. He had these boils over his body. Amen. Amen. And uh, I could remember him even in my office with a comb just scraping his head. Mm -hmm. He didn't have no hair, but those balls bothered him. So, mm -hmm. how we got to do this? Listen. The word of Job's sickness was heard by three of his 
so-called friends. This, who traveled from their home. Now these men did not live around the corner. Mm -hmm. They traveled from their homes. Mm -hmm. Tell the guy mm -hmm. to visit him. Well, they came with the intention to comfort and console him. Mm -hmm. Tell the guy Come on, Amen. Their names were Eliphaz, Bildad, Zophar, Job's three friends, somewhat his equals. Have a got a witness? Well, I saw I put this in message by fellows long enough, but it seemed like I'm making a really good time. Brothers and sisters, when we have loved ones that are sick, amen. We have to be careful of receiving visitors. Let me say that again. When you got a sick love, you got to be careful just letting the door swing wide open and anybody can come to see you. Why do you say that? Preach it well. And you know, just like I know, Job's friends came with the intention to comfort and console him. Yeah. Have we got a witness? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes people just come to see folks sick. Yeah. Yeah. So they go back and tell others how bad they were. Yeah. Have we got a witness? Yeah. And I know if I was sick, I don't want nobody to come seeing me for the purpose of going back telling my friends and other folks how bad Man, Brown look bad. I don't think you're gonna be here long. Now y'all know y'all looking at these strange, but y'all know people do that. They come just so they can see and go back and talk. Tell a guy what I share with my friend. Sometimes people are sick. The last thing they want outside of their close family members is visitors. Yes. I haven't been real sick, but I've been sick enough where all I want to do is lay in the bed and just moan and groan. Amen. And talk and moan and groan with folks sitting on the ground here. Baby. How do you got it? Anybody ever been sick enough that you didn't want no company? You didn't want nobody stopping by to see you? Because look, you ain't got to stop by and see me to pray for me. Have a God Amen. Amen. And as we uh, go through this text, maybe it might uh, open our eyes to what I'm saying. You have to be careful sometimes. You have to protect your love. Amen. Amen. From people who just want to stop by. And for those that want to know what's wrong with you. Boy, one thing that really bugs me is folks want to ask. What's wrong with somebody? If you can't pray for people unless you know what's wrong with them, then that guy tells you something about your prayer. Amen. Tell God with you. Amen. Amen. Tell God with you. Well, let me get back to Job. Because some folks might have enough nerve to come to your sick bed and ask you, what's wrong with you? <laughs> and I think that's the last thing a sick person needs to hear. Or want to try to explain to somebody. Best I can say, I don't know what, what it is, but the doctor say it then. The devil might get, get into you and say, I don't know what it is, but I heard him say he's quite contagious. Anybody have a word about him wrong that he told me? <laughs> Doctor said it's quite contagious. <laughs> Have a good day. Amen. They'll soon get up. They won't be back. Have a good day. Amen. Amen. So chapter two is round two. 
Satan attacks Job from the crowd's head to the soul of his feet. His friends come to visit him to comfort him. Arriving at Job's house, usually on their visit, uh, they would find livestock crawling across Job's land, grazing the grass. Usually they visit, they might find servants out in the fields, plowing, amen, bringing in the hearts, amen. But there's no livestock in the fields. There's no servants working in the fields. If they saw anything, possibly they saw ten fresh dug graves. Have I got to be? Yes, Amen. And then seeing Job at a distance, they saw him and scarcely recognized him. He looked so bad until they could not believe that it was Job. Have I got to be? Tradition is tradition, tradition. Loudly they began to wail. They tore their robes, Job's three friends, and threw dust in the air over their heads to show their grief. They sat on the ground with him seven days. Job was sitting on an ash heap. And they sat with him seven days and nights. No one said a word to Job. For they saw that his suffering were too great for words. No one said Amen. nothing. Brothers and sisters, that kind of time and words just won't do it. Amen. Have you got a witness? There's some comfort that your words just won't do it. My friend I was talking about uh, in my office, he asked me a question. Uh, he said, uh, Reverend, do you feel, uh, I feel that the Lord is done with me? Have you got a witness? And I told him, no. I don't believe the Lord is done with you. One reason I know He done with you is because you're here to preach this morning. Tell him about And I began to share scripture with him and he stopped me. He said, Brother, all the stuff that you're saying, the stuff that I've been telling people because he was a pastor one time, I've been telling folks those same things for years. But now it's at my doing now. So all the stuff you tell me, I already know. Have a witness. Amen. Amen. So sometimes uh, silence. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you, you just sit with the person in silence. Okay. If they need something, need some water, they ask you for it, you let it get. But sometimes the time of sickness is not a time for us to come with all of our Bible verses <laughs> on healing. Right. It's not a time for Amen. 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 They sat on the ground with him for seven days and nights. Amen. And never said a word. But then Job broke the silence in chapter 3. Job broke. Opening the door for them to speak. Yes. <laughs> I believe that uh, when they got to Job, probably wish that he had never said a word. Because as long as he was quiet, they were quiet. But he opened his mouth. Amen. It was a door that Job probably wished that he had never 
complicated by the head. The other the door is you wish you never opened. Four came in. Amen. Beginning with other things, they began to accuse Job of every sin imaginable. They all, you go through the text, they all points a finger of condemnation at Job, encouraging him to confess what it is that he has done. Well, that would make God turn on him yeah. as he has. Mm -hmm. Have another yeah. For they says this, God, for God, don't deal with righteous men like us. God don't allow the righteous to suffer like you're suffering, Job. You must have done something wrong, so Job, why don't you confess? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Now we got to do this. Well, there's another lesson here. I think I might as well just do this too. Brother, be careful confessing to stuff that you know you haven't done. Amen. Just to make somebody else Amen. feel well, yeah. better or good. Right. Now we got to do this. Be careful confessing to stuff that you know you're not guilty of. Have a good Job's friends in this moment make him confess to some sin as the reason God is treating him as he is. Well, and when they got through with Job, Three of them, they had multiple terms. They went with like tag team. And when they got through it, all of them had the same mind. Accusing Job of, you must have done. Tell us what you've done. And when they got through with Job, Job declared them as being miserable comforters. You remember we ended up saying they came with the intent to comfort and console Job. But Job himself said to them, ye are the most miserable comforters. You've come this far, amen, amen, to comfort me. But you have made me feel worse. I wish you had never came. Now, some years ago, there's been one of our uh, uh, members in the hospital visiting, and uh, amen. Uh, he, he told me, he said, uh, You come, you save me, don't come back. <laughs> I'm glad he said, Don't come back. Yes, sir. Don't come back. It's too far to drive. Don't, don't come back. Amen. Help me out with it. Joe's friend traveled all of those miles. And instead of making Job feel better, they made him feel worse. Anybody here ever have had folks to come and visit you? Maybe I shouldn't say that. And we felt all right until they showed up. And when they left, you felt worse. Have I got a witness? Amen. Amen. So when Job's friends, this brings us to our text, got done with him. Look what I said. When they got done with him, mm -hmm. accusing him, condemning him, and trying to make him own up to something he had not done. Having got with him. When they got through with him, then Job knew. He had to find God. Oh, Have we got a witness? Oh, yeah. He knew then, I've got to find God. Mm -hmm. He knew he had to talk to God. Mm -hmm. Going back to verse 1 as we close. Then 
Job answered and said, Even today is my complaint bitter. My stroke is heavier than my groaning. Oh, that I knew where I might find him. Seem like God had abandoned me, had left me, and my friends had scorned me. Oh, that I knew where I might find him. That I might come even to his Amen. That I may come, Job said, to his court. Have a God witness. When, listen, I see you, well, have mercy, Lord. Well, let me back up a little bit. Have a God witness. Amen. In verse number four, Job said, if I could find him, I will honor my call. I will lay out my case mm -hmm. and present my argument. Mm -hmm. I will be my own attorney. Right. I present my case to you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Lay out my, mm -hmm. present my argument. Mm -hmm. And then I will listen to his reply. Mm -hmm. What he has to say. Mm -hmm. And understand what he says to me. He's not like my so-called friends. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Not like my so-called friends. Yeah. He will give me a fair hearing. Yeah. Yeah. God will hear me out. Oh, yeah. Help me out with this. Yeah. And feeling abandoned by God, Job strikes out oh, yeah. to find Listen, my brothers and sisters. Amen. The verse number eight and nine. Behold, I go far. Are y'all following me? Yeah. But he is not there. Yeah. Back. I go back. But I cannot proceed. Verse 9 said, on the left hand, where he does the work, but I cannot behold him at my left. He hideth himself on the right hand, that I cannot see him. Have mercy, Lord. Listen, when I seemingly have mercy, Cannot find him. When I seemingly cannot trace his tracks. Verse 10. Amen. When I can't find him, Job said, I can't find him. But he knows the way that I take. Yeah. Yeah. When I can't figure him out, yeah. when I go to the east, he's not there to the west, he's not there to the north and south, and cannot find him, yeah. one thing for sure, yeah. he knows where I am. Yeah. 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 Have I got yeah. My brothers and sisters, whatever you're facing today, whatever you are dealing with, and it seems like you're all alone. Yeah. You need to remember this. Yeah. God sees you. Yeah. And he knows yeah. the way you take. Yeah. In other words, he knows your path. Yeah. Have I got a witness? Anybody yeah. believe that? Yeah. When I can't trace his track, yeah. when I can't seem to touch him, yeah. he's not angry. Yeah. Verse 10 said, but he knows. Oh, you know. How many know he knows? Yeah. The way uh -huh. I, he knows what's going on in my life. Yeah. 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 And look at that verse 10 of this. And when, I sure hope y'all read this 
for you. Because this is for you. This is personal. When he have tried me, when I've gone through my test, when he has tried me, I shall come forth as God. God get all of the dross from me. As James Cleaver would say, I shall come forth as pure gold. Have a lot of it. So hearing God when you heard. Have a good Listen. It's only a test. Somebody realize it's only a test. That you're going through. It's going to be over. Really soon. Keep the faith. Don't give up. For it's only a text. Yes, and I got a witness. How y'all doing? It's only a text that you're going to. They don't ask always. It's going to be over. Real. This is what you need to do. Keep the faith. Don't give up. For it's only a text. No matter what you're going through, yeah. don't give up. Yeah. It's only in the test. It's only in the test. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Be strong. Yeah. It's only a test. Yeah. I've got to close here. Just in case I don't make it back, make sure you read that last chapter of Job. You know, it's, it's, it's not fair to read about all Job's suffering, all that he lost, and just stop there. You need to make sure you read that last chapter. God turns around and blesses Job twice as much as he can. Before Satan attacked him, God blessed him with ten children. Amen. Yes. Seven sons and three daughters. Yes. Amen. Now Job, uh, as my friend said, now Job has 20 children. Yes. Ten in heaven, ten yes. on earth. Yes. How about it? Yes. Amen. Yes. And God restored his health. Yes. And God made all of those folk that accused Job and blamed Job and stuff. He made all of them say, look, you got to go to Job and ask Job to pray for you. Because if Job is going to pray for you, then you got to come to me. And then I went back, but told all his brothers, if y'all take him a piece of money, hey, man, they didn't go see him, he was sick, so God told him now, now go see him and take him some money. Have God with you. Amen. Amen. Won't God bless you? Amen. And that's the way God works. Amen. Amen. The doors of the church are open if you're here and know that Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Come to Jesus while you have this chance. Amen. For you need him. Amen. No matter your lot in life, whether you're rich or poor, sick or well, you need God in your life. Come to Jesus. While you have this chance. Oh, yes. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Just now. Just now. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Just now, He will save you. He will save you. He will save you. Just now, just now, He will save you.
continue, amen, to wait on the Lord and let us continue, amen, to listen for His voice. For you may not hear, God is yet speaking amen. unto us. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, certainly, we ask that you continue to pray one for the other. Amen. 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 On this uh, evening, we probably will be installing the new pastor at Macedonia, Missionary Baptist Church in St. Louis. That's at 3 o'clock on this uh, evening. Those that might be one to go to the service. Uh, our, uh, one of our preachers from Springfield, uh, uh, Ray T. Matt Junkin, is going to be, uh, T. Ray Matt Junkin is going to be preaching on this uh, evening. All right, so uh, certainly we're praying for the Macedonian. Amen. Let us remember on tomorrow is Labor Day. Certainly, we thank God for this time in which uh, we celebrate the Labor Day. That we can be marching and parading throughout. Let us be careful uh, for there will be people on the highways uh, driving impaired. So, let us be careful and be watched. Amen. Enjoy our celebrations. Amen. In our bulletin, uh, in our article uh, service, uh, it says invitation, discipleship, blessing, offering, and benediction. So I'm going to bless the offering today and do the benediction. Amen. God bless you. God, Father, we thank you for the gifts that we have received on this day. We pray your blessings on the giver that you would bless them, O oh God, in their giving and provide for all of their needs. Thank you, Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you from Zion. Amen. Amen. Amen.